Hey, what's going on, crew? Welcome back to Georgetown, New York. Folks, we've, uh, well, all our, our fall planting, it's all come up. Look at this. We've got, we've got canola all up in the hills ready to go. And, well, speaking of which, oh, I can't open it from in here. Hang on. Yeah, I don't even need to push the button now, but I'm, I'm going to do it anyways, just because I, I'm in now. But this is our only harv harvester. Oh, come on, man. I need to I need to upgrade this thing. We need to do something about this. Uh, you know what? It does the job. And we're going to have to get started with it. I've I've got well, I've got something coming today, but it's not here yet. So, um there's nothing else in here that's going to do the job. A lot of orange. There's a lot of orange in here, oh man. But we do have the one piece of green and um I was planning on retiring this and i just didn't get around to it so we're gonna start a harvest with this uh what's our smallest field we'll see if we can start with that oh folks you know what we gotta get to harvesting we need to get this done and replanted i'm hoping to uh to get a bumper crop off this stuff this year i'm hoping to get this all done and replanted is the whole goal of this so we can well get another crop in the fall it's still spring right now technically so you know what we might have time oh i'm gonna fire the john deere up here folks Get some uh, a bin up there as well. We got oh we got brand new bins as well. Oh man, you know what? All Stara all the time. It's, it's working out. Let's get to work. Stara King, let's do this thing. <laughs> Bitter patter. <laughs> Guys, we just shone this thing all up. I mean, look at how good a shape this is in right now. And I'm gonna go and use and abuse this thing again. In fact, I may go get Gertie as well. Uh, she's on her way up here. She may end up driving this for, for a little bit uh yeah you know what it's like an antique i want i kind of want to keep this I, I, I mean lots of people have these old these old harvesters and they just kind of let them sit out in a field and rust and i don't know i, I kind of want to keep this thing and uh keep it in good shape and just have it as kind of a you know what it's a nice looking harvester it's in really good shape considering all right i gotta move the grain trailer back out we've got a uh a kenworth w3 or th w300 900 i'm dividing apparently by three today there we go. Let's get this on out as well. Oh, there we go. Nice. Right on through. And we'll put this just at the base of these fields. Uh, and we'll dump into this. I'm not sure how much we're going to have. I mean, it's actually... This will work out just perfect, actually. Because I can leave this kind of like right... Oh, right here. Pretty much right here. And whenever whenever we, we fill up the bin, um, they can just come straight down the hill. Dump on out. And you know what? I might actually back this straight on in. And we can we can make it so it's like an Indy 500 come down here. It's like a little loop you got to do around the truck and the trailer, and then you go back into the field. Maybe it might work. Uh, you know what? We can't make it the loop. No, it's not gonna work. It's not gonna work at all. Let's just do this. <laughs> I thought we might be able to fit this in here, but we got trees and everything here, so we'll just leave it like right like that, blocking everything. Y yeah, of course that makes perfect sense. Yeah, it's all right. And then lastly, I need something to tow the auger bin. Um. Yeah, we could do the 180, the new 180. Nah, I'm gonna go with the 500. The 500's right here. Let's jump in that. Yeah, the 500. Let's fire this up. Guys, the sound of this thing, it just sounds so mean. Oh, not bad, not bad, not bad. All right, let's let's uh, let's get out in the field. We'll keep, grab that auger. We got a brand new auger bin this year as well. So we'll, uh, we'll test that out and see how it works. It's gonna look pretty good behind the 500, I think. I mean, look at that. The one thing I don't like about this particular auger bin though is, well, the front axle turns on it. I don't like these, I, I prefer the old one. Like, let me just jump over here. This is the old one we have, the, what is it? The Ninja 19,000. This one here, there's no front axle. So it's a lot easier to back up. Wow, you guys, you guys get it. Now I'm hooking this up to an articulating tractor. It's, it's double the size almost, but I've got to deal with, well, this axle thing. Can I get through here? Thank you. And, um, yeah, that's, well, you, you got the best driver in farm sim. Don't worry about it. We'll be fine. We'll be fine. <laughs> yeah. So I, I think we are pretty much set up and good to go. Ooh, one thing I never thought of. Does the pipe, ah, it should lift high enough, I, I think. He chose poorly. Um, yeah, we'll figure it out later. Anyways, so. I'm waiting on Gertie, but we we do need to get into this field. Uh, this field, that field, and then the far field, guys. We've got a lot of uh, combining to do here. We've got a lot of harvesting to do. Gertie's on her way. I'm going to sit back and wait for her. And then once she shows up, we'll, we'll dive into this thing and get her done, I guess. Uh, Gertie, I was waiting on you. All right, well, um, Gertie says she knows how to run this. She, well, she ran it last year. So I, I, I 
guess she's good. Um, how is our canola looking? I mean, it seems like it's decently dry right now. That's that's good. I'm surprised. You know what? It's still early. Well, late spring, I guess, but it's still spring, guys. And uh, you know what? We're, we're already getting into this field. I'm I'm kind of impressed. Uh, you know what? Let's. You know, I'm I'm not sure how she she hasn't been seen. I don't know if she's been up on that hillside before. So we need to go make sure she's good to go here. Let me go help her out. All right. Let's see if this bin's actually going to work with this little combine. Uh, it's going to be a little bit high. I have a funny feeling. We've got to make sure we set this up. I don't think I can go the opposite direction. We've got to make sure we're going alongside of it. But, I mean, look at the size of the bin. Usually the combine towers over these bins. And this one, um... <laughs> just a little tiny little combine. Let's pull on in. Come on. Lift up higher. Lift up a little higher. Oh, sorry. Oh, yeah. That might, might, might work. Maybe maybe not there's no way there's no way we can do this especially with the fact that we've got that front axle movable front axle it just makes it so it, it doesn't want to like slide underneath uh well i guess that um gives me even more reason why i'm going to want to buy a new combine uh yeah i think oh guys this is redonkulous okay i'm gonna leave this here for a second We'll go. We got another. I got a backup plan. I got a backup plan for the time being, but this just that's just really horrible. Ah oh, man, that sucks. Yep, we're we're back to the the garbage tiny little Stara that's a pain in my keister. Uh, let let's go on unload. Ah oh, man, I wanted to use the big one. Thanks, Gertie. Thanks uh, for that. Um, that that's all right. You know what? We'll unload what we can get off this. I'm I'm gonna get on the phone here right away and see if we can uh, we'll expedite that brand new combine. E yeah, we, we, it, it's got to get here. I wish Tonight Star doesn't make a combine. That'd be interesting to have a Star combine, don't you think? No, not at all. <laughs> nobody said nobody ever. Kind of strange. She seems a little nervous to get too close to my rocky ridge here. I don't know if she's worried the house is going to come down on her or what, but she uh, doesn't seem to put much interest in coming over this way. <laughs> she missed a whole bunch. Um, oh well, that, that that's that's fine, I suppose. Why are you stopping, Gertie? Just just keep going. It, it's all good. You got lots of space here. Oh, I, I think I'm making her nervous. Oh, it's a slow go, folks. I'm not going to lie. This is a little on the slow side, but I just saw oh, the new combine just got dropped off. I just talked to uh, the sales rep. Well, you know what? He's from Stara, but um, I, I, like I said, there's not really an option for a, a Stara combine. Um, it's It's red, but it's not what you think. It, it's it's a red combine, but it's definitely not what you think it is. Uh, you can well, you can see through the trees. Can, can you can you tell what we got? I don't know if you can tell what we got. There's no way you can tell what we got. Who am I kidding? Uh, tell you what, let's finish this off. Oh, running into Gertie. Uh, I thought she was gonna turn there. Oh, let's go down there. She's that's got to be dumped enough. For 53%. Let's go take a look at this combine. Oh, there she is. Oh yes, the versatile RT490. Not bad. All right, so it's a mid-sized combine, and there's definitely bigger ones out there. Uh, it, this is a 2016 model, so I think it's about seven meters. This header. I was hoping to get a Draper header, to be honest, but uh, we had to go with this as the next. Oh, I, I wouldn't even say the next best thing. It's it's nice that we can st store it up the way it is. Uh, this may be something we get rid of. We we do have the header rack in the back that I can store huge headers on, and I I don't need the storage capabilities like we have this, but it will be convenient to get this through those gates have to admit that anyways you know what let's give this thing a shot let's jump on in fire it on up and uh guys this is gonna make these fields a lot better uh i just that, that john deere is struggling it's just so small all right let's you know look at this we can even fit right through here even this mess i've made right here guys i can fit right through it not a problem oh see that's actually not bad i was I wasn't really thrilled at the fact we got this header. I was hoping, like I said, for a Draper header, uh, a wheel Draper header. And uh, this is what we had. But this actually works out better. Hmm. You know what? Maybe uh, maybe I was thinking more than I thought I was. Look at that. Open this wide on open. And uh, we're going to get in this field. It's all canola up here, so it, I don't really care too much which gets which yield. Uh, I'll let Gertie keep working over there. She can dump into, well, one of the trailers. I'll bring, you know what, I'll bring that, I'm going to bring the 500 over here first before we get started. 
and uh, we'll we'll dump into that one on. We'll we'll leave the small case, the 180, just in her field. She can dump in as she goes by. It's, it'll it'll work out. It's fine. All right, we're set up right here with the 33,000 tank, the small little 180s over there. Gertie's still doing laps. She's doing all right. Uh, I think we're gonna follow suit, folks. Let's go. Oh, what do I need to do? Oh, we need to unfold. Of course we do. Of of course, unfold that. Of course as well. Oh, I don't need to unfold that again. There we go. Make sure we don't unfold the header twice. That's uh, that's always awkward. Unfolded. Is that dropped? That looks like it's dropped too. All right. Looking good, looking good, looking good. Uh, right side spinning a little bit faster. There they go. They've synced up. All right, let's go. Let's drop on in. Get busy. Back to work. Canola inbound. All right. Uh, this field's actually quite a bit bigger, especially since we've, um, well, we've, we've taken over a good port a section of that that field over there with our, our house and the hillside and well everything we did with that so she's going to be done actually pretty quickly in the grand scheme of things by comparison guys it yeah we're we're a little bit behind by by her uh yeah this is going to take us a hot minute to get this one done it's all right we'll get there eventually but um yeah Gertie's doing pretty good right now she's actually yeah she's making some good headway guys anyways versatile what do you guys think I'm, I'm kind of digging it. Ooh, I'd like to get a bigger header, though. Like I said, a Draper header would be nice. But then, this one's actually pretty convenient to get through on those gates. I mean, I mean, on the bright side, we've got tons of power. But we're we're lacking right now on the header department. What is this, 25 foot? Yeah, if we, I, I'd love to be up to a 35, 45 foot. <laughs> it would be ideal. Um, it's definitely a little on the small side. But we're not we're not dealing with any massive fields. Uh, what is this? Like 11 acres is what this field is. Uh, I think the one Gertie's on technically is down to like six acres now. So it's really not a lot of land, guys. Um, the bigger field, I think that's our biggest field on the far side there. And then we also have one that's down in the valley. You can't see it. It's down in the valley right across the car dealership. I've got plans for that land, by the way. We've got plans for that coming up, but it, yeah, you know what? I shouldn't even say that. We'll just just ignore it for now wonder how Gertie's doing with her timing over there. I just saw it. Looks like she's dumping out right now. She's right down by the Stara. You can just kind of see her down there. Um, as for us, we are at 30% of our tank. We're hitting about the 50% mark. You can see, well, we're at the very top of the field almost, so we should be good. Just to come on back down, and hopefully uh, when we come back down, we can just dump out then each lap. And uh, we should be good in theory. I think, yeah, I think it should work out just fine. As long as we don't get up here someplace and run out that's a long run back down to the bottom to go pick up the tractor and bring it up here i'm hoping we can just time this out perfectly and just dump in as as we go it's kind of nice to be able to do two fields at the same time right now even though both these combines are definitely a little bit on the small side something about not how big your combine is it's how well you use them somewhere in there so i thought that we'd be uh closer to like 75 80 percent by the time we got to this point I'm a little surprised, actually. The yield's not great. 121 bushels per acre right now. I thought we'd be getting a bit more off the uh, the old canola. But, oh well. It's all good. It's all good. It's all good. Like I said, this is just the beginnings of this farm in the grand scheme of things. I'm not overly concerned. We're making so much cash off of our car dealership, our brake shop, our tire shop. Um, yeah, this is almost just for fun. That seems kind of meta. Oh, speaking of fun, we just got a call back from Gertie. She says the... Uh, the star is full as well um let's dump this in and while it's dumping we'll go we'll grab the other the the 180 and we'll make a, a trip back down and go dump that bin off that she has so uh she can keep on working away in that field i don't have to talk to her anymore that's that's great if we could do that yeah uh let's put this right there we'll lift this on up turn that off and let's uh let's dump we've got how much we got in there right now 60 69 percent you almost think i planned that out Perfect. Uh, let's let's put this right in about there. Good. Yeah, that can run for now. Let's make a spin over here. How's Gertie doing over there? She's just going back up the top. Let's grab this. Just a quick drive over to the silo system with the 180, guys. And uh, we'll dump this in. Get rid of it. Is that already emptied? Wow. Okay, that versatile just went up a notch in my books. That was quick. In we go. Get rid of some canola. And uh, back to work right away. That's all it takes. Not bad. Pretty quick. Just saw Gertie over in the far field. She's doing a fine job over there so far. Um, there, there's been a little bit of complaining. 
But I was thinking, you know what? Maybe part of the reason we're getting kind of a low yield off that field, we didn't really build a proper ditch uh, behind that rock wall where the house sits. I think maybe that's something we should probably do is maybe just build maybe a bit of a culvert or a ditch there to collect any of the rain runoff that kind of comes down that way. That's all going straight into our field, and I wonder if that's causing us any issues over on that side. It's it's not really, I don't know, you can kind of see the hills through the trees there, but anyways, not not so much. Um, yeah. Oh, it's over there. Never mind. I, th I thought it was right there, but no, it's it's right there. <laughs> I was looking in the wrong direction completely. You can't see it because of the visor. Anyways, that might be part of our reason, guys. That hillside is like draining all of any kind of rainwater. It comes down and it does, if it doesn't saturate to the grass, it just goes straight into the field there. Uh, there used to be like a bit of a, a ditch in the far side of that rock hill. And that kind of filtered the water down below. Now we, we don't have that at all, so maybe I should build something to get uh, a backhoe up here or something just to dig that little hole. Just to get a little bit of space. Other than that, that field is, well, it's pretty much almost done. Where, well, this field here, guys, we've still got a lot of harvesting to do here. But I've got, I think, yeah, Gertie wants to drive the Versatile. She's done with being outside in the elements. Uh, I guess I'll take the John Deere over there and get started while she's here. Or maybe I'll just drive the 500 and stay stay inside where it's, where it's nice. Um, you know what? It's not bad. Today. 19 degrees Celsius. Nice bluebird day, guys. No, no rain. We had some rain yesterday. It's gone now, so I don't know what she's complaining about. All right, folks, I switched out with Gertie. She was complaining that she didn't like being in the open cab anymore. You know what? I, I just drove it around a little bit. It doesn't seem like there's that much dust coming up from it. That's the, the bigger problem is when when you get the dust coming up uh, off of the uh, the header here. But it seems like it's not too, too bad today. So I don't know what she's complaining about. Oh, man. So I'll, we'll let her take the new versatile. Oh, Gertie, be careful. We just got that. Oh, man. I hope she's okay with it. You know what? It's it's actually not bad to drive. It is a few years older, like I said. It's got the GPS and everything, which is nice. So she can pretty much just let it do its thing for the most part. Um, if she knows how to do that, that's that's the next question. She sh I'm sure she's fine. I'm sure she's fine. But you know what? Let me show you where the ditch was I want to talk about. Yeah, guys, this cliffside is draining straight into the field. I mean, maybe, maybe she couldn't harvest this stuff. It was still too damp. But like right along the side here, we need to dig this down and make a bit of a ditch, I think. Uh, just so any water coming down this way is kind of just drained off. I don't know if we can put a culvert or just something small underneath the field to drain it down towards the creek down the bottom there. That might be an option. I don't know yet, but we need to, we do need to build something here because all this water runoff is going straight down in the field. And even like any rocks or whatever, they end up in our field as well. Um, this, this paving method that they guys did on the construction crew, it worked out pretty good. But still, I want to make something so the water runoff is a bit better. We should turn this into like a rock climbing wall. That, this would be like perfect. Put a bunch of handholds on here. Yeah, not bad at all. Uh, I think Gertie looks like she's doing all right. Uh, I'll double check on her, but I think I'm going to head over to that other last field up here, guys. Yeah, she's uh, she's looking good. Uh, you know what's funny, though? Like, I know it hasn't been in the field quite as long, but it, it looks like it's still, it's not getting, picking up as much mud as, well, the John Deere. Like, look at the John Deere over here. It just, it just tended to pick up a lot more mud. I mean, it tends to think, make me think that that field is a lot muddier. And uh, that's what's giving us the grief, maybe. Anyways, uh, that's looking good. I think this bin actually is almost full, guys. I need to go dump this out. This bin's pretty much full. You know what? We got we to gotta go dump some bins first here. I'll dump... Well, I got to load that in the truck. This has got... Oh, man. Just go to get back in the field. Go do your thing. Um, I'll, I'll take care of these. What a pain. All right. Dump one and dump two. Oh, man. I think I'm rubbing. I think we're rubbing against the trailer there. Uh... It looks close. Maybe not. I just saw it move, but I think it's just the way this articulating tractor works out. It ends up kind of like rubbing up against it a little bit when it moves. I don't know. That's kind of strange. Shouldn't have done that, but it looked like it might have. Ah, it's okay. Like right there, you can see how I, when I, when I articulate and turn that direction, there's so much potential to hit things. Yeah, that's the one problem with these tractors, guys. Uh, is that going to fill? Not quite. Oh, damn. <laughs> that's unfortunate. There's 9% left. Oh, that's a pain. It'd be nice if it was like one bin to one side of the trailer. But of course, that'd be that'd be too easy. Well, guys, I guess it's a good thing I'm, I'm just such a nice person, right? Um, yeah, I'll, I'll take the old John Deere and I'll, I'll let Gertie drive my new Versatile. But uh, we got still lots of harvest here to do. I want to get these fields off, like I said, as fast as we can so we can replant in here and uh, hopefully get a bumper crop off these this year. But we should be able to. I mean, it... There's no, there's no reason to think that it's not gonna, it's not gonna grow before fall. So the sooner I get these off, the faster we can get back in here. 
I got one more field to do today, guys. One more field to do. Unfortunately, I'm going to have to be the one that sucks it up and does it in the outdoors. You know what? It'll be fine. It's all right. Um, it's just going to get done. It, why do I always let her do what she wants? That's the next question. Ah, whatever. It's all good. <laughs> Anyways, guys, I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. Uh, if you did, you guys know what to do. Slap that like and don't forget to subscribe. Folks, we do two to three live streams a week around here. Also, five to six videos per week. So make sure you guys do hit that subscribe button and ring that bell so you do not miss a thing here on the channel. Become one of the crew. Come hang out with us. It'd be good to see you. Anyways, folks, uh, thanks again for watching. Once again, we'll talk to you next time. From Georgetown, this is Clutch and Gertie. Oh, Gertie. Over and out. Oh, it's going to be a while. This is going to take some time. Mm -hmm.